scientific reductionism is one of the most powerful forces in the modern world. There is first of all the innate sense of inferiority that most other disciplines feel vis-a-vis -vis modern science, which they try to emulate to the extent that there is now a whole category of disciplines called the social sciences or human sciences, each trying to emulate the methods of physical sciences by becoming as quantitative and exact as possible. Then there is the philosophical urge to reduce always the higher to the lower, to refuse to grant to life a reality which is above and beyond the material component which form a particular living cell, nor to psyche any reality the biological beyond the biological activities of the body which has psychic life nor to spirit any reality beyond the activities of the psyche. Belief in Allah is reduced to a physiological complexes, consciousness to biological activities, and life to molecular motion. In order to understand the modern world, one must understand the power of scientific reductionism, which lurks nearly everywhere in one form or another, although it has been rejected by many a great scientist. In fact, one can say that scientific reductionism is one of the main components of what can be called scientism in contrast to science. Modern science can be conceived as a legitimate way of knowing certain aspects of the natural world, a way which is able to discover some of the characteristics of the natural world, air or physical world, but not all of the world. If its limited range of vision could be accepted, it could be integrated into a more general scheme or hierarchy of knowledge in which higher forms of knowledge could dominate over but not necessarily obliterate the knowledge of the quantitative aspect of nature gained by the modern scientific method. Scientism, however, is a philosophy which extends modern science to a total ideology a way of looking at things and it is this outlook which has become so dominant in the modern worldview. It is scientism which refuses to consider any view but the scientific as of serious consideration as far as knowledge is concerned and which refuses to accept the possibility of any other mode of knowing such as that received through revelation. It is domination of scientism which has made the religious view of the universe appear as intellectually irrelevant, reducing religion to only a subjectivized ethics and matter of prevalent consciousness. It is scientism which has destroyed to a large extent the spiritual reality which man always saw around him and has removed from nature what one might call the aspect of enchantment to which the Quran refers so often, destroying the basic Islamic idea of phenomena of nature as being signs of Allah, the ayat which Allah manifests in his creation. It is impossible to understand the modern world without understanding the power of scientism, despite the opposition to it by many scientists. It is in fact mostly certain modern philosophers and even theologians who have become ever more subservient to the scientific worldview than scientists and a number of scholars in the field of humanities, physiology and social sciences who are today the real priest of scientism more than the physicists themselves. As a result of domination of scientism, modern and even what some call postmodern society looks upon scientists as earlier societies looked upon priests. In earlier societies, the priests or the men of God were supposed to possess a knowledge which came from God, which was absolute and, all, and certain and upon which people relied, although they might not understand the essence or details of that knowledge. People trusted the priests and scholars of religion, although they could not spend their lifetime testi 
testing the validity of knowledge which these people possessed they went to them for answers to ultimate question and relied upon their answers for their salvation today to a large extent these functions have been transferred to the shoulders of scientists as far as the general public is concerned even if individual scientists refuse to identify themselves with such functions nowadays the majority of people not only in the western world but wherever modernism has spread consider scientists to possess the ultimate answers to matters not purely scientific but even to what lie beyond the domain of science that is why books come out about the views of famous physicists concerning god or immorality of soul and even if some physicists make childish statements outside their own field of competence their views are considered to be very important precisely because they are physicists it is essential to understand the function whom the scientists fulfill in the modern world as the ultimate authority to which both private citizen and government turn in all societies dominated by modernism